And now, feel that weight. Imagine that weight. In your left hand, around the wrist, we're gonna tie a string. That string is attached to 700 bright red helium balloons. Those bright red helium balloons are gonna yank and pull your arm towards the sky, and that happens one, two, three, now. We're gonna take a second book, we're gonna put it in your right hand. You're gonna feel 20 pounds more being added to that. Try to hold it up, one, two, three, now. That book gets heavier and heavier. The more you try to hold it, the more impossible it becomes. You feel that weight, that's 40 pounds. How long can it take you to hold 40 pounds? We're gonna attach 700 more red balloons right now as they go pulling up towards the sky. In the audience, you start to see who has a vivid imagination. People that can visualize in their mind, their hands are moving. Now, if your hands aren't moving, you're thinking about it. Don't think about it, feel it. Feel those books getting heavier and heavier and heavier. The light balloons, they're growing, they're getting bigger. They're getting lighter, they're pulling up, 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 up. The books are going down, 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 down. Using your imagination. Now in a moment, I'm gonna come around to each and every one of you, I'm gonna say the word sleep. When you hear me say the word sleep, you let your body go loose, limp, and relax like a rag doll. You'll probably lean up against the person next to you and just go to sleep. Sleep, just not yet. Hold those books, go back. Only when I do that to you individually, you'll go loose, limp, and relaxed, and you'll just go wherever I put you. You won't think about it. You'll just let your body completely rest and collapse. disturb you, you will be more concentrated, more focused than ever. Give them a great big round of applause. They're focusing. All right. Good. Everybody up here on stage, I know you can do one thing. I know you can get even more relaxed. In order to become more relaxed, just think about it without falling out of your seat because you are super glued to your seat in the back. Your body will become two, three, or six times more relaxed. So on the next kind of three, imagine that, taking a deep breath in. One, two, three, sleep. Good. Loose, limp, and relax. Just the person touching now, moving your head, this, letting it rest right there. Perfect. I want you to imagine that your head is on the most comfortable pillow in the world. That most comfortable pillow, you want to just kind of nuzzle into it a little bit. Just get even more comfortable. Just get even more comfortable, that's right, there you go, good. Now, here's what's gonna happen. Every time you do an activity on stage, you're gonna become extraordinary. You're gonna be flamboyant. You're gonna have a ton of personality because we want a good show. Now, once I say sleep, you'll go right back to where you are now, but you'll go even deeper. Even deeper, even more relaxed than you are now. It's like in the morning when you hit snooze on your phone, right? The next five minutes of sleep is like the deepest sleep you ever, 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 ever get. All right. So every time I say the word sleep, you go even deeper and more relaxed. Just the person I'm touching now, popping your head up and always open. I'm just going to move your chair over a little bit. All right, and sleep. All the way over. Good. Okay. Now we're going to get them warmed up because this is where the show starts. This is where the fun is. Up till now, this is just me getting them relaxed. In a few moments, they're going to perform. They're performing for you in the audience. 
when they perform, you guys make a ton of noise. The more you cheer, the more you laugh, the more you encourage them, the better they're going to do. Up here on stage, I want you to hear me first, then we're going to interact. This is designed to see where my stars of the show are gonna come from. I'm looking for the best of the best. Not now, but in a moment. I'm gonna to count to three. When I get to three, you're gonna hear music and you're gonna realize you're in an orchestra. You play a musical instrument in an orchestra. You might play the tambourine, the flute, the piccolo, the drums. I don't know what it is, maybe it's the trombone. You know an instrument that you play in an orchestra. You're gonna hear the music. You sit up with your eyes closed. You'll have beautiful posture. You'll hold the instrument, you're gonna to start to play with the music. The faster the music gets, the faster you play. You wanna put on a good show? Now, we always have one or two up here on stage that just sorta of, kinda of maybe do it. I'm not looking for sorta of, kinda of maybe. If that's you, I'm gonna ask you to go back to your seat. I'm looking for those that are highly interactive with this and have a good time. Because once again, who wants a good show? Yeah, they wanna see a good show. So. On the next count of three, each and every one of you on stage with your eyes closed, you will sit up with wonderful posture, you will hold your instrument and start to play with the music. The music gets faster, so do you. Ready? One, two, and three now. Sitting up, hold that instrument up to your mouth, your arms, start to move with the motion. As the music plays faster, so do you, playing faster and faster and faster and faster, starting to move with that music. The faster you move, the better you're doing. Now if you guys have someone up here at your favorite, give them an applause. There we go, this is what I'm looking for, something like this. Use your imagination, you have a very special move. Do it now. That's right, use your entire body to play that instrument. Hold it, 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 take a deep breath in, go back to sleep, three, two, one, sleep. Right back to where you were before. You know what, how do you guys think they did? You know what, we can do better, can't we? Okay, now that was my fault. I'll take that one because I, th I thought you guys were like an orchestral type of group out there. In the audience, I might have misread you a little bit. That might not have been what you're really into. So, let's switch it up. Okay, they still play instruments, but now they either play the electric guitar or the drums because we're playing rock and roll. Is that going to be better? Yeah? How about we put them on stage with ACDC coming to tour here in Vancouver? All right, now we're talking. I see the heads going, so start to think about it. You play the electric guitar, or you play the drums. You're on tour with ACDC. You're performing one time only in Vancouver in front of your home crowd. You will, without getting out of your seat, sit up with your eyes closed. You will rock out. Now, that last episode, that last thing with the trombone and the, the, the whatever you were playing, on a scale of 1 to 10, that was a 2. I'm looking for 10. We're coming unglued up here on stage. You start to see it in your mind right now. How wild, how crazy can you be without hitting the person next to you, without getting out of your seat? On the next count of three, you guys are starting to play the most incredible rock and roll of your life. Ready? One, two, and three now. Ladies and gentlemen, appearing live in Vancouver. two or three or four. Let's kick this up a little more. You guys got better than that. Let's hear you rock. One angel. Show us what you got. They're doing this for your entertainment. Out there, make some noise. I'm seeing my stars up here. Check this guy out over here. That's what we're looking for. Right there, that's what we're looking for. Check her out, there we go. Now we're having fun. All right, all right, all right. And we're going back to sleep. Three, two, one. Deep breath, sleep. Loose and been relaxed. There we go, I know. And super glued right here. Right there, good job. All right, big round of applause. That's your job, big round of applause. 
Man, we're just getting warmed up. We're gonna have some fun. We got some superstars up here on stage. Everybody, if you feel me moving you around, just go where I put you. Just feel even more relaxed. Good, okay. Now, we're gonna move faster. I've got a whole bunch of stuff we're going to do, so you just need to follow along. Again, I'm looking for the superstars. I need to get rid of about four or five of you. we got too many people up here, but man, you're all doing well. On this next episode, each and every one of you up here on stage, you're the cute, tiny little fish swimming through an aquarium. You're going to stay in your seat. Your eyes are going to be closed, but you can wiggle your tail fin, which is on your butt. You have the cutest little fishy faces, little flippers, and you will move through the water in your chair with your eyes closed, imagining everything I talked to you about. So becoming the most cute, little, adorable fishes up here on stage, you will sit up, eyes closed. Here we go, we'll show us those fishy faces. One, two, and three. There we go, little fish. Swim through the water, just wiggle and wiggle and wiggle. Staying in your seat, do not get out of your chair. Just wiggle around. The more you wiggle, the better you feel. Oh, and you feel good today. Show us those cutest fishy faces right now. You have even a cuter face. Show it, show it, show it. That's right. There we go. Wiggle. Wiggle and wiggle. Swim around through the cold water. Oh, that water feels fantastic today. Oh, yeah. Just swimming around the top of the water. You're going to realize this water is very, very deep, and you can go down. Swim down a little bit. Go down about 10, 20, 30 feet. That's right. About three meters, four meters down, going down a little bit deeper, all the way down, swimming around. You notice you're schooling with all your friends? Your friends are right beside you. Wonderful. Keep going down until the water gets dark. We're down about 10 meters, 11, 12, 15 meters. It's nice, it's a little dark down here. You start swimming around. Oh, look at that big thing right out in front of you. It looks like a, looks like a sunken boat. Swim over to the sunken boat. Use your tail fin. Wiggle faster. Wiggle faster, little fish. There we go. Oh, this is fun. That water is perfect. Oh, it's beautiful. What's behind the boat? Go behind. Go up and over. Up and over. Swim around back to the other side of the boat. Let's see what's over there on the other side of the boat. Let's just go around the boat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Freeze. That's a shark. Don't move. You just realize that shark eat little fish. And you look like dinner. Don't move, baby. It won't see you as it starts swimming around. It's swimming right towards you. It's swimming. With... It sees you. Swim, swim, swim away. Swim back up, 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 back up, back up to the top, up to the top. You gotta beat the fish. You gotta beat the shark. That shark's coming. That is a 32-foot great white shark. He's got 87 teeth, and you look like dinner. Get back up to the top faster. He's at about three meters behind you. Two meters behind you. One meter behind you, here he comes, he's opening his mouth. And sleep. Oh, good, big round of applause for all the little fishies. Man, these guys are good. The ladies up here, they're doing fantastic. If you're starting to see some visualizers up here, you're starting to see... So in a focused trance, you're just starting to follow along with everything I say. Whatever I say just becomes your reality. You don't think about it. You're just having fun with this. And hopefully the audience is having a good time out there. But we're going to focus more on everybody up here on stage in a moment, but not yet. In a moment. Oh, what the heck. You know what? We always like to give away money at these grind rats. So you didn't know it. And I couldn't have told you because everybody would have come up here. But they gave me prizes to give away. One of the prizes, and we're just going to do it as the grand prize, was $10,000. No, ten grand. I know, and you would have all come up here. But one of the people on stage gets to win $10,000. They get to go home with it today. They get to spend it this summer. Now, up here on stage, I want you to imagine right now what you would do with $10,000. In fact, you're going to need to get ready because there's a contest. So right now, staying as relaxed as you are, sitting up with beautiful posture. One, two, three. Sitting up. This contest, I want you to focus intently on what I'm saying and do not start yet. This is the cow milking contest. <laughs> You're all been trained for this. Close your eyes. I want you to focus on this because in the next count of three, not yet, in the next count of three, you're going to start milking the cow that's in front of you. You have a bucket, you're going to put it underneath that cow. You have 12 seconds. During that 12 seconds, we are going to milk this cow. The person who gets the most milk wins 
dollar. Start warming your hands up. Start warming your hands up. Get ready. This person, push your chair a little bit forward. Good, 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 good. Get your hands ready. Eyes closed. On the next count of three, you're each going to milk that cow in front of you as fast as you can. You have a very special technique. I want you to imagine how you're going to do it. You need to get more milk than the next people beside you. Ready? One. Don't start. Don't start. Two. Three. Now, go. Milk that cow. 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 It's a very small cow. It is a tiny cow, but it is very, very, very small. Get underneath it. All the way underneath it, underneath it. That, cat is, that cow is like the size of a kitty cat. Get underneath it, all the way down. It's the smallest cow in the world. All right, faster, faster, faster. The person next to you is winning. Now the cow is getting bigger. It's getting bigger. It's getting taller and taller and taller. It's eight feet tall. It's 10 feet tall, 15 feet tall. It's getting even bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh, it's all the way on top of you. Uh, uh, oh wait, the tail's lifting up. As that tail lifts up, the tail's... Oh, oh, oh. That is the worst smell you've ever smelled in your life. Oh. You can imagine that. Stop milking it because there is crap all over the floor in front of you. smell it. That is the worst smell you have ever smelled in your life. Oh, you know how bad it is when you can taste it when you breathe? That gets, gets it on your tongue and it just... What? Oh, oh, that didn't come from the cow? That was the person right beside you. Oh, and that stinks. That is the worst part you have ever smelled in your life. Oh, that was, was wet. Point to it. Who's doing it? Who's doing it? Tell them to stop. <laughs> Who's doing it? What's she doing? <laughs> she did all her stuff. Oh, man. Who's doing it? <laughs> oh, what do you do? What do you do? That's <laughs> Tell them to stop. <laughs> oh, that is... You know what? Through the power and imagination, we can change it. I want you to imagine right now it becomes the best smell you've ever smelled. Three, two, one, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's still coming from the person next to you. Oh, that is the best smell you have ever smelled in your life. It gets 10 times better right now. Matter of fact, the closer your nose gets, the better it smells. It's coming from over here. It's over here. Oh, yeah. That's just... Oh, it gets so good right now. So good. Three, two, one, sleep. Sleep. All the way down, deeper and more relaxed. But as you're sleeping, you notice that smell is really good. Sleep. There we go. Just get super, super comfortable. Huge round of applause for our volunteers. Oh, you know what? It's at this part of the show that I get to have a lot of fun because... In a moment, I'm going to open their eyes for the very first time. They're going to look out. They're going to see all of you out there. You're going to give them a great big round of applause, make them feel really good about themselves. And then we're going to find some of our stars up here. We're going, to, we're going to work with them. But everybody up here on stage, I want you to know you're doing fantastic. If I ask you to go back to the audience, it doesn't mean you've done anything wrong. It just means I can't use all of you up here on stage. There's a lot of space up here. Or a lot, there's not a lot of space, a lot of people. But on the next count of three, you're going to stay focused and relaxed. You're going to sit up in your seats. None of you are going to believe that you've even started doing anything up here on stage. You just know you're having the best time ever. You're not going to think about this. You're just going to focus. If I ask you to sleep, you go right back to rest and relax. You sit limp like a rag doll, just like you are now. But opening your eyes and sitting up on the next count of three. One, two, three. Now, give them a great big round of applause, our volunteers, for the show. Woo! So, everybody up here, if you having a good time, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Oh, thumbs up, thumbs up. We lost one. He's alive. It's good. I don't want to lose another one. Last week, I tell you, I know. Okay. Wow, pretty trip up here. Give it the thumbs down. How you doing? 
Totally good? Here we go. What's your name? Alexander. Sleep deeper, more relaxed, Alexander. Oh, jeez. Oh! I have to stay like that. Just hold him up for you, would you? Just, just, just. Look at him. You would never do that, would you? Kind of crazy. Watch my finger. Sleep. First, I'm touching right now, popping your eyes open. You did do it. Sit up. <laughs> Just your eyes open. Hey. Check them out. You would never do that, would you? No. <laughs> okay, just the person I'm touching right now. In a moment, you're going to hear this song, Nothing's Going to Happen, but the next time you hear this song, can you guys see his eyelids? They're bouncing around. He is so gone. Okay, just the person I'm touching right now. Well, every time you hear this song, not right now, but in the future, every single time you hear this song, just the person I'm touching. This is for you. Every time you hear this song, you're going to believe that your butt is on fire. And it hurts. Like a scale of 1 to 10, it's a 300, man. It is seriously on fire. And you believe the only way to cool it off is to rub it all over the stage because this is a magic stage. You will jump onto the stage. You will scoot yourself back and forth as long as you hear that piece of music. Just the verse I'm touching now. Not right now. Not right now, but in the future, every time you hear this song, you're going to realize that your butt's on fire. the heck? <laughs> yes, that's one. Not right now. Not right now. But in the future, every time you hear this song, your butt becomes a burning ring of fire and it hurts so bad. And all you can think about doing is putting it out by rubbing it all over the stage. When the music stops, you have no idea what the heck's going on. Just let that sink deeply into your subconscious mind. <sighs> Easy stuff up here. Okay. Just the first time touching right now. Sleep. Deeper and more relaxed all the way down. Deeper, 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 deeper. More relaxed. Every time you hear this piece of music, you're not going to realize it's you until you hear the music. But just the first time tapping on the shoulder right now, every time you hear this piece of music, lock this deeply in your subconscious mind. That's the shark noise. Just the first time touching right now, you believe you're a lifeguard. Not right now, but in the future. The next time you hear this piece of music, you believe the shark is back. You're going to jump out of your seat with your eyes wide open. You're going to run to the edge of the stage. You're going to yell and scream at the audience because you believe they're in the water and the shark is going to get them. Every time you hear that piece of music, just the, only the person I'm touching on the shoulder, you are going to believe that you are a lifeguard and the shark is back. And that shark is going to eat all the people in the audience. It's your job to save them. Just the person I was touching on the shoulder, and you remember it was you sitting up in your seat with good posture, eyes closed, hands straight up in the air. Don't you? Hands up. Pull this in around your waist. Grab it. There we go. Right there, right there. Pull it around your waist. That's your life preserver. You're going to need that. That identifies you as our lifeguard. You will keep that tight at all times. But every time you hear the shark noise, just the person I'm touching now, you're going to believe that the shark is back and you need to jump up, run into the audience, and... Oh, sorry. Save everybody out there. Yes, okay. Um, who are we going to pick on next? Just the person touching right now. Deep sleep. Sleep. Deeper. 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 No, 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 no. no not that deep. There we go. Right there. Just hold him up for me, would you? Just the person touching right now. Every time you hear this song, not now, but in the future, you believe you are a cute, adorable, six-year-old little girl. Nothing wrong with that. But you've been practicing for a dance recital and there's a very special song I'm going to play. It's your favorite song. Every time you hear this song, you will jump out of your seat. You will run back and forth on the stage without knocking over any of the cameras. And you will dance and practice, shaking your booty, knowing exactly how you're going to dance to this song. Not right now, but in the future, every time you hear this song. Barbie, let's go party. Every time you hear this song, you realize you are a six-year-old little girl dancing and prancing and having a good time in your life. When the music stops, you have no idea what in the world you are doing. Let that sink deeply in your subconscious mind. All right, and everybody else up there on stage, everybody else, 
Remember the you were looking at earlier? Focus on it. Take a deep breath all the way in. Let your body rest and relax. Going back to sleep. Three, two, one, sleep. Let it go all the way down. Do not fall out of your chair. You guys are super glued to your butts to that chair. This next piece of music is for every single person up here on stage. Every time you hear this sound, you are going to realize that 10,000 volts of electricity has jumped up through the chair, bit you on the ass, and it hurts real bad. Your butt gets shocked with 10,000 volts of electricity, not right now. But every time afterwards, when you hear this, you will jump out of your seat, you will scream bloody murder, because it hurts. You might even get mad. You might get ticked. The more it happens, the worse it gets. The more it hurts, the more pissed off you might get. At me, the hypnotist. At no time can you hit the hypnotist. <laughs> oh, don't laugh. <laughs> it's happened. <laughs> I've learned. Every time you hear this piece of music, lock this deeply in your subconscious mind. Each and every time you hear that piece of music, you will realize that that chair has just electrified your butt and it hurts really, really bad. All right. But you know what? <clears throat> I've messed with everybody up here on stage. We're, we're going to just check back. We're going to do what we call recall. Recall is when we're triggered. How many of you understand what a trigger is, right? Something happens, it triggers a memory. We all have them. Up here on stage, those pieces of music are now triggers. They're deeply embedded into the subconscious mind. The people up here know exactly what's going to happen. Even if they're not thinking about it, as soon as that music hits, they know exactly what to do. They won't think about it, they'll just jump out of their seats and perform and have fun. And it should be fairly hilarious up here on stage. So the next count of three, everybody up here keeping all those suggestions in your imagination. You'll sit back up with your eyes open. One, two, and three. There we go. Give them a huge round of applause. Welcome back. All right. You guys all having a good time, right? All right, as we focus and listen out here in the audience, we're going to just... What happened? <laughs> grab a seat, grab a seat, what the heck? What happened? It hurt. <laughs> what hurt? It, my, my, my butt. <laughs> that happened. You got the worst seat, I guess. What happened? A fucking ass hurt! Jeez. Did you feel that? That's a little uh, lifting, I think. God, that's crazy. I don't know. Oh, you know, the imagination. Dude, you guys switch seats, man. Switch chairs. Switch, switch, switch seats. That's just crazy. I don't know, because that, that, that should never happen up here on stage. That, that definitely shouldn't happen. This curtain's getting a little messed up up here on stage. We're going to learn about another, another law. We have the law of belief. It's called the law of expectation. She knows what's supposed to happen. You're all staring deeply at her. Over, overwhelming her, as a matter of fact. Pretty soon, the more... If you start clapping and applying, she's just, it's going to overwhelm her. She's going to see what's happening up here on stage. She's going to know exactly. Well, 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 they all died. They're all yeah. dead. Yeah, that was the worst lifeguard I've ever seen. You don't care, do you? You don't have any friends out there, really? You just, like, sacrifice them all? Yeah. Pretty, pretty much. Okay, okay, there we go. That's all right. I mean... You know, a lot of people say, oh, you do the show, you talk to all those people ahead of time, and they're, they, they're faking it, and they're, 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 you know, they're just doing that because you told them to do it. And, and yeah, every once in a while, we do have someone up here that does that, but you know, every once in a while, they're just, it, just, it just happens, and then, oh yeah, it just he feels that stuff. Love is a burning thing. Whoa, 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 dude. Alexander, what's going on? <laughs> no, it's not really, because you're sitting in this wood chair. It is black. Dude, <laughs> the chair got on fire. No, no, the chair got on fire. All right? 
I'm not checking it out. Is, is, is it all right? He says it's fine. It's everything, everything's good there. It just, that was weird. I really... That hardly ever happens up here on stage. I mean, oh, God, I'm just... I'm just dude, what? You have no idea what the heck's going on, do you? There's a show. We're, we're in the middle of the show. Let's just, just have a seat, man. I always pick the big guy for that for some reason. I, I don't know why. It's just, it's just not really something I want to do up here on stage. Barbie, let's go party. Wait a week, wait a week, buddy, buddy, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> What's what the heck are you doing? Seriously, what were you doing? I have a seat. What the heck were you doing out there? What are you talking about? What? It's just, yeah, weird, weird. Uh, yes. Doesn't want to see that happen. Jeez, right? hold on. Oh. I felt that one. That's didn't want to do that one. It's kind of weird. You wouldn't do any of that weird stuff, would you? Here, line the chairs. I'm lining the chairs. I think you guys got the chairs all messed up or something. That one's worse. You want to trade with somebody? No. Here, move your seats forward. I gotta be able to get through here. Crazy. Okay. You know what? Everybody, everybody, take a deep breath in. Find the person next to you. Remember the one you were sleeping on that really comfortable pillow. Take a deep breath. Three. Two, one, sleep. Deeper and more relaxed. Huge round of applause for our volunteers up here, you guys. Every time they go to sleep, we just give a big round of applause. We got some performers. Now, now we can kind of just leave it there or we can take it to the next level. What, what do you guys want to see? I, I, you want to see more of this crazy stuff? Yeah, you just got to make more noise. You got to just start just making a lot of noise out there. There we go. As I told you, the more noise you make, the better the show is. But I'm going to give everybody up here, the volunteers up here deserve a break. And I'm, I'm going to give them a really nice break right now. You know, because of COVID, we haven't been able to travel. We haven't been able to go anywhere. I don't know if any of you are getting a chance to go on, like, like a grad trip at all. Are you going on any grad trips? No. Yeah, I know. It's just, yeah, it's just kind of the year, right? This, this year, last year. But, uh, you know, we, we, we can... <laughs> I've lost control. <laughs> Everybody on stage in a moment. I'm going to send you on a grad trip in your imagination because we can use our imagination. It's going to be like you're really there. I want you to picture and imagine this next thing to be true on the next count of three, not before. On the next count of three, each and every one of you are going to be sitting on a beach in Jamaica. There's a beach.